Tifter, and I'm back with Get Even, a game where I still have no clue what's going on. We're a guy named Black being told to meet up in this B building, which appears to be a rundown hospital. Yeah, last. This is your fault. I don't appreciate that. But yeah, last time I touched on the idea that I would really like a ghost hunting type game. Not like Ghostbusters. Where you go into like haunted places and set up to record EVPs and have spooky stuff happen in different locations. I think that would be really fun. I mean, kind of like... I know that a lot of them are really hokey, but kind of like ghost adventures and stuff like that on television. A lot of them are really, really hokey. But... Okay. Those wires are probably warm. You know, I could trace them back to. I don't to need her. to. I don't need to trace them. I don't. I don't need to. Hey, monkey. Who knocked you over? That's rude. That's just not even nice. Okay. I don't. There's got to be some code to this. Okay, so this one maybe, and this one, and this one, and this one, or maybe it's reverse. This one, this one, this one, this one. This one. I have, oh. Your actions will have consequences. Okay. The hell's... What? Ch was that a choice? I understand. What does that mean? My actions will have consequences. I'm not sure you're responsible for that. What? You can't just you can't just drop the thing of your actions will have consequences and then not actually have something that does any sort of consequence. It's not how it's not how any of this works. It's not how video games work. It's not whatever. This is me. What's going on? Hello? Why was he there? Anyone there? Hey! Why was he there? I need to fly control board, okay. Cole Black. Upon leaving the military seven years ago, it seems Black lost years of his life to alcohol and occasionally even drugs. In order to fund this lifestyle, he took small scale security jobs, where he began to develop something of a reputation. Word spread about his ability and willingness to fight. Should the situation call for it, which ultimately ultimately led to work as a contracted killer. Over time, Black left the alcohol behind in favor of the thrill of his new work. Though his contracts pay well, Black seems to use the money only to gauge the importance of the contract and the seriousness of the client. Okay, psych reports suggest Black is a walking contradiction, unable to kill without feeling wrought with guilt, yet only able to find purpose in life through killing. No known family or friends. Something's not right. Okay. 
Bullet holes recognized. Semi-automatic pistol. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I took these pictures. Cigarette. Partial fingerprint found. Yeah, yeah, I did these things. Okay. Alright. Cool. Shit. Hi, Mr. Black. Please, apologies for the theatrics. It's all part of the treatment. Treatment? This will be far more straightforward if you just keep breathing. Oh. That's it. That's it, Mr. Black. Black. Relax. Breathe. You're back with us. What am I in My saw now? Is expected. What? Who are you? What the hell is this thing on my head? Hey! Calm, Mr. Black. Black. That's all I ask. Your current confusion is a byproduct of your treatment. treatment. All very unfortunate, but I assure you, you are in safe hands. If it helps you focus, you may call me. Red. You. You gassed me. There was something before. Another place. That's why you're here, Mr. Black. But now is not the time for questions. No, now is the perfect time for questions. <sighs> okay, fine, whatever. Guess I have to pick the gun up. All right. Wait. Wait. A gun. My gun. Consider it security, Mr. Black. A token of trust. How can I trust you when you knock me out and put this thing on my head? To explain, your memory was damaged in the explosion, leaving two questions that you came to us to answer. Why were you there? And who was the girl? I know why I was there. To save the girl. Then we are making progress. Please. Proceed. Proceed with what? Hello? What is even happening? So my actions will have consequences. I guess I'll need to be careful of what I do. Oh, I have my phone. Analysis complete. Memory unit RR003. Name, Pandora Savant. Looks like the same thing I'm wearing. Neato. Uh, Lidhurst Asylum, Spirehouse Lane, Blackwell, Bromsgrove. Identification data, inmate number 617, John Keating. What's important about him? He's 40. He's a male. He's born in Worcester. Okay, he's pretty old. Caucasian. Red hair, green eyes. Night determined, special handling, blah, blah, blah. Patient was an English literature teacher at Centerfield High School. And after a car accident, he developed a possible Clover Buki syndrome. Don't know if that's how it's pronounced, but it's what I'm going with. Two weeks ago, the patient was injured in a car accident. When he finally came to, he displayed some curious symptoms. He was unable to recognize family and friends, was unusually calm, almost apathetic, and would frequently try to put different objects in his mouth, e.g. his notebook, empty paper cups, hyperorality. After being diagnosed, the patient was transported to our facility, whereupon we commenced carbamazepine treatment. Okay. Sure. Sure. Seems all, uh... Hang on. I notice there's blinking stuff that seems to. There we go. Match found. Walt Kaufman, 28. Armed Forces, 
deeming it classified. Armed forces? What's he doing here? Good question. Uh, should be him? Yes, 28. Uh, Paige suffers from anxiety disorder and possible depressive disorder. Outwardly calm when any and all decisions are made by a third party, yet agitated when left to make choices themselves. Submissive and inactive by nature, a patient will quickly become anxious and argumentative, if left alone for long periods. The patient admitted after being found screaming and crying in a local supermarket. The police report outlines that the patient was whispering, They're already here and they know what I did. Oh God, have mercy on me. After brief evaluation, the patient was admitted to our institution and sedated. Immediate psychiatric interview showed thoughts and fixations of morbidity, death, and murder. The patient is talkative, yet highly unresponsive to questioning. Wrong button. Okie day. Bipolar disorder. Uh, nice beard, boss. Major depressive disorder. Okay. And puppet master worshiper. Alcoholic hallucinations. He has blood. No, that's uh, he has a piercing in his nose. That looked like there was blood coming from his nose, but that's clearly a piercing. Okay. 30 to 35, it's unknown. Okay. Constant supervision required. Morbid thoughts and suicidal tendencies place this patient in a high risk category of potential self harm. Patient suffers from dissociative amnesia, exhibiting a false sense of self, personal history, and overall worldview. Patient claims to have been a victim of recent trauma but cannot recall details. If allowed, patient exhibits a tendency to wander throughout the hospital with no discernible direction. When questioned as to the destination, it has been noted that the patient will reply here before settling down wherever they have been stopped. Patient handed himself into Withall Whitehall Police Station, exhibiting erratic behavior. In an interview, the patient would ask for Catherine, his wife. In later questioning, the patient exhibited no memory of the aforementioned Catherine, and a later suicide attempt while in police custody prompted patient patient transfer to our facility. Alright. That's all. Cool. Come that off. Hey. Hey, friend. Over here. You got out. How did you get out? You can't leave me here. Just hang on. What's going on here? Where are we? Please, you've got to help me. The switch there, it opens this door. You, you have to help me. Uh... will have consequences yep nope yep no I remember that probably just made a grave mistake but you know what that's for me to worry about later it's this heart of darkness horrors of the asylum uh, I'm not gonna read all that but something about the hospital of lost teeth. That sounds awful. I told you to ignore them, Mr. Black. If the treatment is to succeed, I need your cooperation. Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, I didn't ignore them. Now, I'm almost 100% certain I'm just supposed to listen to whatever this guy says and... Odds are. You, you, you. Okay, just. Okay, boss. One hit, huh? One hit's all that takes, huh? One hit. Gotcha.
I told you to ignore them, Mr. Black. Uh -huh. If the treatment is to succeed, I need your cooperation. Yeah, sure. really ignore him. Samson Charnel, that was the guy that I let go. A uh, patient worked as a door-to-door -door salesman, but after suffering a mental breakdown, became a self-proclaimed cult leader. Oh. That's okay. I mean, that doesn't make him evil, does it? This guy was clearly bad. Can I scan him? Uh, nope. Can't scan him, apparently. What? No! There's another door I wanted to go into. Oh well. Okay, fine. Whatever. Although your memory has been affected, your twitch response remains intact. Pure muscle memory. Fascinating. What is this? Place is filled with runaways, criminals, ex-military. Who the fuck am I? And why the fuck am I armed? I understand your curiosity, but there will be time for questions later, Mr. Black. Please proceed. Okay. Yeah, this is just this is just a saw situation, isn't it? Oh shit, yeah. Uh, John Linden. Uh, must keep medicated at all times. Constant supervision required. Solitary recommended. The patient suffers from severe memory loss, making it impossible for him to differentiate fantasy from reality. Reports both visual and auditory hallucinations, coupled with frequent out of body experiences. Lucia is abducted by some unidentified organization and tried to erase and destroy the patient's memory, unsuccessfully, in the patient's own opinion. The patient was found wandering aimlessly near the Bart Green Woods Nature Trail, wearing only blood-stained underwear. Gross. He assaulted two police officers who were called out to investigate and was subsequently arrested with some struggle. When finally restrained, the patient began screaming, You don't even see the cages inside your heads! Other references to the officers being blind fools and poor servants were also recorded during transit. Neat. Neat, 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 neat. That was the guy we just read about. Someone real. Turn on the light. Let me see. No, 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 no! What did you do? Why don't they work? Where are they? You've taken away all the cake and presents! You'll be so upset, you monster! Monster! What did you do, Mr. Black? Understand, your actions here will have consequences. You must take responsibility for them. What? It's all part of the treatment. Sorry, what? You damaged that circuit while toying with the fuse box earlier. Cause and effect, Mr. Black. That's why you're here. Action, reaction. Past and present. Please proceed. Proceed with what? Fuck's sake. What? Well, he's okay. Wait, what? So toying with that fuse box way back that I didn't even have to touch? caused this to happen down here okay sure of course I don't know why any of that matters always searching you truly are the diligent detective mr. black an admirable quality that will come in quite useful as we prepare for our first little trip the more external stimuli you engage with while wearing the Pandora unit more effective your synaptic recall will be. Please, continue. Okay. Was he complimenting me on scanning things? Like, I... Is that what that was? deal with whatever's in this room and 
try not to make poor decisions next time. So until then, everybody, take care.